Welcome back to another exciting episode of Exponents. So we're going to continue our journey with exponent operations. So in the last lesson we talked about, we left off with multiplying exponents and we found that if the bases are the same, we just add the exponents together. What do we do when we divide? And what do we do when we take a power to a power? So we're going to do the same method as yesterday. We're going to look for some patterns and figure out some rules for integer exponent operations. All right, so let's start with these examples here. If I write them out the long way, what do we notice? So 2 to the third over 2 to the second is really 2 times 2 times 2 on top and 2 times 2 on the bottom. And what happens when we have two of the same things stacked on top of each other? Well, 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 1 times anything is the same thing, so it cancels itself out. Same here. So we have another 2 divided by 2, which is a 1 situation. And so what are we left over with? We're left over with a 2, and it's really a 2 to the first power, which we don't need to write, or just 2. Yeah. Uh, let's look at this one here, x to the seventh over x to the third. So that's seven x's, four, five, six, seven, okay? And then on top of three x's, boom, boom, boom. Well, when we stack these guys on top of each other, you can just think of them as turning into a one. Ooh, look at my artistic skills. So that's one cancels out. This is the one. Oh, looking a little rough here, people. And we have another one. Okay. What are we left with? We are left with four x's or x to the fourth power. All right, let's look at one more here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, fives, and we have four on the bottom. Four. Okay. All right. Well, five over five, five over five, five over five cancels out, and we are left with this. All right. Well, what's going on here? What pattern do we see happening? Hopefully, you notice that these canceling each other out equates to the same thing as the exponents being subtracted. So, two minus, sorry, three minus two is one. 7 minus 3 is 4, 7 minus 4 is 3, so when we're dividing these and they have the same base, okay, if they have the same base, we're just going to simply subtract the exponents. If we write it algebraically, it's going to look like that. Um, a to the m over a to the n is the same as a to the m minus n power. Okay. So go ahead and pause, copy all this business down. Okay, here's some examples. So instead of writing it out like I did before, I'm just going to write 4 to the 8 minus 2, which is 4 to the 6. That's how I'd like you to show your work for me, please. All right, next problem. This would be n to the 9th minus negative 4. What do we know about minus minus? It turns into a plus. So this becomes n to the 9 plus 4, which is n to the 13th power. All right, and then last but not least here, we have this. So our bases are a little bit, uh, we, the W is the same. This whole number part in front, I'll come back to that. Let's just tackle what we know here. Our bases, our Ws are the same. What is hiding right here? There's really a secret one. So you can always write it in if you need to. So let's deal with our Ws. We have a W to the negative fifth minus 1, which is w to the negative 6. Let's come back to this business over here. What is 12 divided by 6? Excuse me, what is 12 divided by 2? That's right, it's 6. So we're going to slap that onto the front of our answer and make it 6w to the negative 6, um, which we can keep like that, or we can also write it as the 6 on top, and we can throw the negative exponent into the upside down. Either of those are fine by me. Okay. 
you can go ahead and um, copy these down along with me, or you can hit pause at the end and copy them down. So 7 to the 6, 7 to the 1st, that is the same as, it's got that secret 1 there. So go ahead and rewrite it with the secret 1, just to make it really clear. And then that is 7 to the 6 minus 1, which is 7 to the 5th power as our final answer here. Because again, bases are the same, we're dividing, we're going to subtract the exponent. Okay, so here we have, base is the same as 5, so we have 5 to the 8th power minus negative 5. We know minus minus turns into a plus, so we have 5 to the 8 plus 5, which gives us 5 to the 13th power. Boom. Okay, next up is this. We have same basis, so we can subtract the exponents. 12 to the negative 8 minus 10. It's negative plus negative. Yeah, it's same sign. So we get 12 to the negative 18th power, which again, we know that negative exponent means we need to throw it into the upside down. So it's really 1 over 12 to the 18th power. It's okay to leave it like this, but I do want you to review and understand what that whole business means. So pause if you need to and make sure you have all those examples down. All right, we'll come back to that tomorrow. Let's do some more complicated ones. So we have uh, our base the same here of the S, so we can just deal with the S first. We have S, we have a secret one here. We have S to the negative two minus one. So we have s to the negative 3. If we look at my beginning part up here of the 3 over 9, that simplifies down to 1 third. So we can think of it as 1 third s to the negative 3, or we can throw that s into, or that negative 3 into the upside down, and we can put 1 on top and s to the third power on the bottom. That's even better. This is okay. That's even better. All right, this guy over here. Again, let's see what we have in common. We have uh, we have just the s's here to tackle. So we have um, s to the fourth minus five. That gives me s to the negative one. I have no y's up here, so I can think of it as y to the zero power. And I have y to the negative 6, so I have y to the 0 minus 6, or y to the 6 power, which means it's really y to the negative 6. Um, and then I have my 8 fifths. I can't really simplify or do anything with that. So I have a couple options of how I can write this. I can say it is 8 fifths s to the negative 1, y to the negative 6, or since these guys here are negative land, I can throw them into the upside down. And I can say, okay, leave 8 on top, put 5 on the bottom, and throw these guys in the upside down, make them positive. y to the first, sorry, my mistake. Loop. y, <laughs> sorry, s to the first, y to the sixth. Hope that made sense. Okay. All right, let's put a couple more examples in our notebook. All right, let's deal with our S's first. We're going to rewrite this with a little 1 there because S by itself is really S to the first power. And we have the 4 and the S to the negative 4 here. Let's deal with our friends the S's first. So we're going to go S to the first minus negative 4, which is the same as s to the 1 plus 4, which is s to the 5th power. Okay, now let's go back and look at the 2 over 4. What does that simplify to? It simplifies to 1 half. So now let's combine these two things. So we can say 1 half s to the 5th, or we can write it as 1 over, sorry, scratch that. We can write it as 
since the s is positive, we can leave it on top. And we can say s to the fifth on top and a two on the bottom. There's an invisible one here, but we don't need it. So either of those are ways that we can represent that. Again, that's an S, not a five. All right, let's do this one here. Let's look at my W's first. Okay, I have W to the negative five minus the secret one down here. Just remember there's a one there. So that gives me W to the negative six power. I have my y's here. I have y to the negative third minus negative four. Ooh, minus minus becomes a plus. So this is really y to the negative three plus four, which is one. So y to the one or just y. And then I look at my business over here and I have five eighths. So let's put it all together. Okay, let's put it all together now. So I'm going to take my 5 eighths from the front here. Goes in alphabetical order. We're going to do our W next. W to the negative 6. And my Y to the first, I'm just going to write Y. I can leave it like that. Or even better, let's take this negative business and put it in the upside down and make it positive. So I have my 5 on top. My y is a positive exponent. I can leave it on top. And then down below, we have the 8 and the w to the negative 6. If I throw it in the upside down, it becomes w to 6 power. So both are acceptable. Bottom one is even better. All right. I think that is enough for today. Uh, go ahead and get those notes down. We will practice tomorrow in class, and we'll continue some more exponent fun. All right.